So here we are with uh, Kevin Rooney Jr., a, um, a super middleweight, is it? Or? Junior middleweight. Junior middleweight uh, prospect and also a uh, professional publicist. So uh, so tell me, is it uh, is it odd on you know the weigh-in day? Of course, you know, you have to go and uh, report the weights and then, you know, weigh in yourself. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, different shows, it's just, you know, the workload is different. Um, you know, for like my pro debut, uh, to Joe Tessitore made a joke, you know, it was funny. I was running the fighters in and out of the fighter meetings while dealing with my own weigh-in. Um, you know, I said it was it wasn't bad though because it, it kept my mind off how hungry I was and it kept me busy. So, but um, you know, it, it's it's definitely a, a, a different experience than some fighters have to go through. But you know, it's it's overall I like it and I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna do it for as as long as we can do it. I guess the good point is that you have uh, intimate knowledge of all the the reporters and journalists. So if you need a story about your, you know, to sell tickets, you know who to call, right? Yeah, and now uh, you know it's. Uh I kind of have some uh, pull with that, uh, you know, because uh, I'll, I'll designate like we, my buddy Ryan, with the press seating. So, uh, you know, if they write a bad story, if they don't write the story, uh, you know, they might get bumped back a couple rows. But uh, for the record, he didn't hold me hostage and tell me I would be sitting in the nosebleeds uh, for the Sergio Martinez uh, Darren Barker fight, which you will be fighting on the undercard, yes. right? So, talk to me. This is a big fight for you, uh, you know, on a big undercard. Um, do you have an opponent yet? Oh uh, yeah, they're actually looking. I think it's a kid out of Philly. Um, looking at Danny Lugo, okay. um, you know, and it's a it's a great opportunity. I actually just recently switched from working uh, for Joe DeGuardia to Lou DiBella, um, you know, and I'm excited to be part of uh, DB, um, you know, not only on the working aspect of the professional, but uh, also the fighting. Um, you know, it's a huge opportunity for me. Uh, My be... assistant is fighting on October 1 on the card. <laughs> so is it kind of like, say, um, you know, the Yankees acquire, like, say, uh, a clubhouse manager who could also DH? Is it something like that, when having a guy who's a publicist and a boxer? Yeah, but but I, I'm not going to lie to you. He's much more important to me as the publicist and my assistant mm -hmm. th than as one of my fighters. But he has a passion for it. That could and change. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. He keeps winning. That could change. But he has a passion for it. This is what he wants to do. I can accommodate it. So God bless him. You know, but, but he happens to be a really bright guy, a tr terrific press guy, a great writer, and you know, so far so good as my assistant. And but if he wants to be in the ring and I can accommodate him and it doesn't interfere with his life or mine, I'm, well he's gonna interfere with his life because he's gonna be working his ass off. Yeah. But if it doesn't interfere with my business or my life in a negative way, then I say God bless him, go for it. I guess the benefit also is that you know he if he um, if a, a writer writes a bad story, um, he's fully capable of you know doling out the punishment, right? <laughs> he would never do that. That's not who he is. But but what it does make a difference is is other fighters respect him for what he does to prepare. Other fi fighters respect fighters. They know what it takes to get in the ring prepared. They know what it takes to face a man trying to hurt you. And he has the respect of a lot of fighters who know he's a fighter. And the fact that he is a fighter I think will be a big advantage to me by virtue of the relationships he's able to establish with other fighters. If by some uh, possibility that he, he becomes a uh, you know a known uh, contender, uh, would that complicate your relationship at all with uh, you know having him as the publicist and then maybe having to negotiate like a we'll, we'll, TV we'll, date or something? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hey, hopefully, we will maybe get to cross. Yeah, that I, I know he. I know that he wants. I know that he wants to cross that bridge. I got mixed feelings, but you know what? I want to be honest with you. That's his ultimate ultimate dream. He's been in boxing since he was a baby. I mean, he, like he's known this sport his whole life. If he's able to rise to that level, then I'd be the last person to stop him. All right. Who's he fighting? You know who you're fighting? Uh, it looks like it's a kid out of Philly, uh, Danny Lugo. Danny Lugo? Yep. Tough Spanish kid. Um, you know, I think he's Mexican, so that will work out good for me. He's going to come forward. It should be exciting while it lasts. How many rounds? Uh, four rounds. Junior middleweight. Four rounds with Junior Middle. But how cool is it that my assistant's fighting on October 1? So, so does so he have the night off? Is Joe Chabo going to come back? He'll have, as, uh, as a publicist. Yeah. He's got a few hours off. Now he's got the night off. He's got the day before off. He's got a couple of days off. <laughs> Will Joe Chabo be coming back now? Is that the next <laughs> move? Have no, no. no I, I, you know what? He's going to come back in a different weight division. Well, first of all, Joe, yeah, exactly. Joe, Joe fought it like as, a, as a midget. Now Joe's like a middleweight. <laughs> so isn't it easier uh, to get a fight? No, no, let me tell you something about Joe. I, Joe fought one of the greatest fights in Golden Gloves history. In fact, they show it on MSG on their highlight show of the greatest fights in Golden Glove history. I think Joe's a little punchy after that fight. So I have no intention of bringing Joe back. <laughs>
So we won't see Meredith at all? In the hey, I want to tell you, Meredith's already the toughest person in my office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not saying much. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk to me now also about, um, yeah, you know, the, you're, uh, you, you want to fight. Yeah, obviously, this is something you've always wanted to do. Um, has there been uh, support from your father? And, you know, did he ever try to hold you back? You know, uh, Definitely. Uh, I have all of his, uh, his support. Um, you know, it's, I told him it's something I wanted to do, and, you know, he saw I was serious about it. And, um, you know, we went from there. You know, it's, you know I, I first told him I wanted to start fighting. You know, basically he told me, okay, you know, go to the gym, spar with as many top guys, top pros, top prospects that, that you can find out in New York. I know you can get some good sparring out there. You know, come back to me in six months, and we'll, we'll see how you feel then. So, you know, that's what I did. Came back in six months. So I said, you know, I want to have some fights. Um, you know, he said, all right, let's, the Golden Gloves are coming up. Going to the Golden Gloves. We'll see how you do. Uh, I made it to the quarterfinals my first year. Um, I thought I won the fight. Um, I actually lost to the kid who ended up winning the whole thing. Um, you know, so I said to him, you know, look, I want, I want to go pro. Um, you know, he said, give the train one more year. Give the gloves another shot. Um, see how you do. Did that, lost again in the gloves, um, you know. And then for me, it was it was really a matter of I was either going to keep fighting and turn pro or stop fighting because I don't have an amateur style. Anyone who's seen me fight um, realizes I don't have an amateur style, um, you know. And I'm I'm not a young kid, so for me to stay as an amateur in my eyes would have been a waste of time. So, um, you know, I decided, you know. Uh, I felt I was ready. He felt I was ready, and I got to make my pro debut on ESPN. So it wasn't one too last, bad. One last question is, um, you know, after you, uh, should you win this fight, um, and barring that, you know, there's no hand injuries, will you be writing your own press release? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, that's been Kevin Rooney Jr. Thanks, Sean.